one of the easiest places to create images for your resources that then you upload to Seesaw is Google Slides. You go to google.com slash slides, click on this plus button and that's it. You're starting to create your presentation. I will name it weather because this is the activity about the weather that we will create here on the right. It gives you the idea that you can choose various themes. I don't choose. I just choose the basic one. Now, this is the size that you can use for images in Seesaw for the background. It's perfect. Or you can change it. You click on file and you go down, click on page setup and choose standard. It's up to you, you can choose widescreen. I don't need this text right now. One thing to remember is just in general, if you're using Google Slides resources, is that or want the image not to move on your slide, you upload it as a background not just insert the image. The background for primary kids or for any kids can be bright and colorful. You can choose the color. I love this feature a lot. You don't need any extra clip art. You just choose the color. You can make it custom. Yes, you can make it custom and choose it. You can also choose image if you buy clip art on Teachers Pay Teachers or Etsy or anywhere else for your classroom. You can uh, upload this image as a background or if you create resources on Teachers for Teachers Pay Teachers and sell your resources there, you should use clip art for commercial use. That's why you choose image and you can choose image from Google Drive or your downloads folder from your computer. In Google Slides, just the basics, you can add different text with text box, you can insert an image, you can add various shapes and lines, you can change the layout if necessary, you can change the theme. It was shown at the beginning. Transition, this is more like for presentation mode, we don't need it here. This activity that I want to show you how I created I will be about weather. It has the main question, what's the weather like today? And of course you, you can, I do this, you change the fonts, you can choose from here. Or you can click on more fonts and also choose from Google Fonts. I, for like K2, I prefer to use something that is readable, easy to read. For example, this Poppins. Make it bigger. You can center it. We could make it bolder. This will be our background image, the template. I want to make another presentation because I want to create movable pieces. My movable pieces will be of square size and if I create them here, they will be horizontal. I want the kids to move movable pieces which will be the images of the weather. How you can add the image here? You can add it again as a background, choose image and you can choose Google Image Search. This is the easiest way if you don't have anything on Google Drive or Photos. So you can type weather and it will show you weather. Look, if you add a square image, okay, let it be this one. Yes, it's not, it's like vertical. You click insert, done, and the image is not good. We will make a new presentation. One more thing, we will not upload uh, these images as a background 
because if we do they will be extended we don't want this we just insert we choose insert and search the web I go to sunny Even if it's bigger than the slides, when you choose to save it first slide, file, download as JPEG, and number two. They are square. They are not extended. They would be if we uploaded them as a background and we don't need this. Let's upload these images and create an activity in Seesaw. Create new activity. We will call it Google Slides Weather. Add template for students as a background for students' work. We will use that horizontal image. It's not movable. As you can see for movable pieces we click here on this camera or photo sign and we click upload we upload those two square images from our computer and you can make it a little bit smaller you can ask kids to choose or to lock or to delete what they like today. Then click on the mic to tell you what the weather is like or to click on this text and they can write it depending on your student skills and click assign. This is one of the activities very easy you can create in Google Slides. What you can do with this text, you can actually change the border color. Change the background color. Color of your font. You can add those images from your computer. They will be movable. You can also add shapes here if necessary. And you can actually save the slide as a JPEG image and add it to the background of your CISO activity. For some reason, you see this page. I just click Shift Comment R, it clears your cache in your browser and that's it, you are in Seesaw. Again, creating your activity, Google Slides Weather 2. You can ask kids to the highlighter, change the color, click mic, record what the weather is like and they will submit it to you. 
Now let's see how you can use Clipart for your resources or for resources that you sell on Teachers Pay Teachers. Just pay attention that they are for commercial use. Because the Clipart is not horizontal, I will not choose it to be uploaded as a background. I will upload it just as an image. I have this beautiful Clipart from Paula Kim Studio. Download it as a JPEG and use for your future uh, Seesaw activities. 